Hi, this is Elizabeth Cermak from Your Highest Light here every Friday at 1111 to talk to you about attracting more beautiful things into your life. I am a life coach and a spiritual coach and a certified angel tarot card reader. And today we are going to be talking about how to take the energy of this eclipse and the full moon and use it to our advantage. So I've seen a lot out there. I actually saw a post on the Numinous yesterday about how people are saying, Oh, this eclipse is going to change my life and then you know how we're gonna the new moon and the eclipse what's happening this summer this is going to change our life because we're having a lot of eclipse this summer when actually the eclipse itself is not going to change your life there's no way that just the eclipse or just the full moon is going to change your life you have to do the work but the thing is the energy of the full moon the energy of the eclipse you can use this energy to your advantage to change your life so it's a great time to change your life if you want to, but you still have to do the work. I'm sorry guys, you still have to do the work, but that's okay. So we're gonna talk about how to use this energy to your advantage. And specifically today, I wanna to talk about what we are going to leave behind. Think of the eclipse. An eclipse is always like stepping into a portal where you can leave the old behind. You can start a new life. And so what is it that you want to leave behind? I wanna put that out there. So you kind of think about that during our talk today. And I specifically, I'm gonna talk about the six of air today. So this is from our, um, the Angel Tarot Doc by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Hi, everybody who's joining. So if you're joining me today, go ahead and drop me an emoji. I'm gonna fix this. Go ahead and drop me an emoji or um, something. Tell me hello, tell me where you're from. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm on Facebook and Instagram, so I'm looking into two, two phones, two cameras today. We're talking about the six of air today. And if you look at the six of air, it's taking a trip. The unicorn is taking a trip. So imagine yourself today taking a trip. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to see the lunar eclipse. I think it's at like two o'clock today. I won't be able, it won't be visible from where I am. But if anybody is go, if it's going to be visible from where anybody is, I would love to see. Let me know. I would love to see pictures, and I would love to know if you guys are going to be able to see the eclipse today. So let me know. Hi, Sandy. So good to see you guys. So, hi Stella. Hi, hi Edgar. Hi, Wilbury. So good to see you guys. So we're talking about the energy of the full moon and the eclipse today and how to use it to our advantage. And that, you know, the energy, the eclipse is not going to change your life, but you can change your life with using that energy of the eclipse. And I want to talk specifically about what we want to leave behind today. So what is it that you want to leave behind? And there's a lot of talk from life coaches. You know, I've told you guys I'm a life coach. I'm a spiritual coach. There's a lot of talk out there about leaving certain relationships behind. And I'm not saying that that's not that that is never needed but I am telling you that it hasn't I have not needed it that much um, I'm not saying that that's never needed so if you have an abusive relationship or something like that obviously that needs to be left behind but what I find is that when I change my relationships change and I've never had a relationship that I've absolutely had to I guess unless it's like a romantic relationship that I've absolutely had to leave behind um, my relationships might have might change and when my energy changes the relationships energy changes as well so if you look at this card so okay so specifically what I'm talking about a lot of people will think oh well, maybe I need to leave this relationship behind and today I don't I want you not to think necessarily about that let's not think about what relationship you're gonna be behind leave behind I want you to think about yourself what is it about yourself what is the energy that you would like to leave behind I have a, a relationship that I grew up with, um, some girls that I knew since I was really young, and there was a pattern that I had in this relationship where I felt that I was not listened to at all, okay? So I felt like this happened when we were younger, like in high school, and I felt like when we would get together, I was not listened to. I just felt like they didn't value, like almost like they couldn't hear what I said. And, you know, so one day, I mean, this was like more recently as an adult, I went to a party and I got in that energy again where that started happening again. And what happened was I took responsibility for it. I remember I kind of went to the bathroom. In the past, I would have just gotten mad. I would have pouted. I would have probably avoided them, not gone back to talk to them. But what I did this time was I went to the bathroom. I told myself it is now, it is not then. And I went back to them with a more confident, stronger energy and everything shifted and everything changed. They started listening to me. They started caring about what I was saying. 
So it's pretty amazing. So it, I didn't have to leave that relationship behind. I had to change and the relationship changed. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So again, we're talking about the six of air. So if you look at this unicorn, it says things are looking up, taking a trip. So things are looking up the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. So imagine yourself as this unicorn on this boat, taking a trip. See, the unicorns in the background, they're leaving behind those unicorns in the background. And that represents old energy. What is the old energy that you want to leave behind, that you want to leave in the background? Imagine yourself on this boat, you're this unicorn, on this boat, taking this trip, and you're leaving the old energy behind. And so what is that old energy that you want to leave behind? I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know what it is. What is that old energy that you would like to leave behind? I'm going to tell you guys what mine is. So for me, I want to leave behind comparing myself, comparing myself to others, comparing myself to myself. I hear some people say, oh, <clears throat> I'm in competition with myself. Well, I don't want to compare myself to how I looked 10 years ago. I don't want to compare myself to yesterday. I don't want to compare my videos, how, you know, my writing. I don't want to compare myself to anything that I did before either. I did a video with Luis, Luis Cavazos last night and I was talking about, we we're talking about Paul McCartney, of course, and we were talking about how, you know, if he would have compared himself to the Beatles his whole entire life, if he would have compared himself to what he did in the Beatles, he probably wouldn't have gone any further and done all the awesome things that he's done today. So we don't want to compare ourselves with others. We all know that comparing ourselves with others invites misery into our lives. So I want to, I just want to encourage you guys not to compare yourself. Don't compare yourself with anybody that you see on the internet with anybody that you see on social media you are your own special self you know you have the magic to create miracles in your life and you don't need to be and with with where you are right now in your life you don't need to be comparing yourself to somebody else to um i think i just saw a hummingbird in my backyard how cool is that jamie jocelyn key i follow her you know and she always says don't compare your page one to my page ten so don't be comparing your page one to somebody else's page 10 on the internet out there or whatever it is, okay? So think about the energy and I would love to hear from you guys. What is the energy that you want to leave behind? I'm choosing to leave behind comparison and criticism, self-criticism. So think of it in energy. It's the energy that you want to leave behind. When you step into this portal of the, new, of the eclipse, you're leaving behind that old energy. And it's just that the name of the ship on this card is called is um, Nuvas. And it means new, so new life, new opportunities, new friendships. When you make, when you get rid of the old, you leave room for something new. So you leave room for the new, the magical. I, um, some of you guys signed up for my meditation calendar, and so if you did, I hope you got the email yesterday. If you signed up and you did not get the email yesterday, please let me know. Send me an email. Send me a message. Let me know, Elizabeth at yourhighestlight.com, um, because I, I think I got everybody on the list. But if I, in case I missed you. You still can sign up today. Today is when it starts. It's the it's the new or it's the full moon and the eclipse today, and so that's when the meditation calendar starts. So you can still sign up if you go to my website, Elizabeth at your highest light. I'm sorry. If you go to my website, yourhighestlight.com, scroll to the bottom, put your e name and your email address in, and if you can get signed up by today, you can still get on this round on the meditation calendar. So today we're manifesting. So it's a manifesting calendar, basically. So today we're thinking about what the universe wants for us, what we want to manifest. And then as the week goes on, the light, the moon gets darker, the light gets darker. And as the light gets darker, we want to get rid of stuff. <clears throat> so in our calendar this week, we're going to be physically getting rid of stuff. But we also want to think about getting rid of stuff mentally, leaving stuff behind. Because when you do, then you're leaving room for the new and the beautiful. You know, if you're, I, sometimes I ask my clients, like, if I have a client who might have an addiction or who might be like thinking about food all the time, for instance, what am I going to eat? You know, what if I overeat? Thinking about that all the time. How much do I weigh? Thinking about that all the time. I I'll, a lot of times say to them, if you weren't thinking about that, what would you be thinking about? <clears throat> if you weren't thinking about the worry, if you weren't if you weren't in that negative cycle, downward spiral, imagine the magic that could happen. Imagine what you could think about. Imagine what you could accomplish. That's how I was able to accomplish like doing this whole thing with my blog and the videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was able to leave room in my mind for more beautiful thoughts. And I talk about this in my manifesting, the, the four steps to manifesting on my YouTube videos. Is that one of the steps is actually leaving space for the more beautiful thoughts to enter. And sometimes this is physical space. So that's why in the meditation calendar this week we talk about physical space 
getting rid of stuff. <clears throat> There's something magical. I'm so sorry, I got something in my throat. <clears throat> There's something magical. Um, I love the book, you know, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. There's something magical about leaving space. I remember the first time I started actually, I read that book and I started actually doing stuff and I got rid of so much stuff. It was like on a Saturday or Sunday. I went to work that Monday and my mind was like so calm. So getting rid of stuff in your house, getting rid of clutter helps calm your mind, helps leave room for the new and the beautiful. Getting rid of thoughts that you don't want anymore. Getting rid of energy that you don't want anymore. Getting rid of a habit that you don't want anymore. What is it that you want to get rid of so you can leave room for the new and the beautiful? Okay, so I hope this served you guys today. We're still going to do a reading. Hi, Jen. So good to see you guys. Luciano. Um, we're still going to do a reading. I'm going to pull a card for the week, and we're going to pull a Gabby card too, but I like to pull the very, you know, I'm meditating on all the cards. I do this where I meditate on the cards in a row, and it happened to that I was meditating on that six of air today, taking a trip, going into a new situation, and it just per fit perfectly for the new, for the full moon and the eclipse that were happening today. I'm doing a getting together with some of my magical friends tonight, so I hope some of you guys are doing something cool getting your energy cleansed out during that full moon. Okay, so let's see what the fairy deck has to say for us today, to us today. We're outside in nature. It's so beautiful outside here today. And I did just see a hummingbird. Okay, let's see. What do the, does the deck have to tell us? Oh, I just remembered something else, you guys. I loved... The Archangel reading, so I didn't say this in my video last week, so I'm going to say it. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prolong it for the weekend, because I didn't say this. I had this idea during the week. So I offered to do an Archangel reading for 777. So usually if I do an Archangel reading, it's usually over the phone, 45-minute like coaching call. Um, but I'm offering to do them over email, and this is something I might start doing more often. For a really low price, for $7.77. And it's all, I'm only going to offer it through the end of the weekend. I'm going to, I want to prolong it because I did it this week, but I didn't say anything about it on my video last week. So if you still, I had so much fun doing them this week. So if you still want to jump on that chance, do it. I mean, getting a relationship with your archangels and being able to develop a relationship, they really can help you and change your life and, you know, help you create more beautiful things, help you create more peace in your, in your life. So email me, Elizabeth at your highest light, or you can send me a message and say Archangel Prescription, and I will, for seven seventy seven, I will send you an Archangel reading. So go ahead and take advantage of that through the weekend. Okay, so we got the Two of Spring. How cool is this card? It's a beautiful, the fairy deck is a beautiful card. So it says, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, Partner, partnering with those who share your dreams, great progress being made. So this is about, you know, the Numinous talked about how and the Numinous is like a um, magazine, online magazine, talked about how this eclipse, you might feel the need, you might feel the desire to hang out with somebody new or to hang out with a new crowd. And so that's good. Take advantage of it. If that's how what, you, what you feel, if that's the desire that you have. And this, you know, talks about partnering with those who share your dreams. Luis and I always talk about this. You know, that's kind of what, that's what we did. We have the same vision. So partnering with somebody and then, it's amazing how magical that is when you can partner with somebody who shares your dream. So make sure that you are, if you have the desire to hang out with somebody new, a new crowd or something like that, that you follow through with that because that can be a catalyst for change. So you want to follow through with any urges or desires that you have because those can be catalysts for change right now. Um, it can be a little unsettling too, and that's okay. I think this week we felt the energy was a little crazy and it's good if you felt that it just means you're a human being you're having a human experience and you're in the cosmos and you're part of this so if you felt a little unsettled this week that's okay or even today I think the energy is getting a little bit better where it's feeling more happy and more focused so I think we're all ready okay so we're gonna pull a card for Jen or for for Jen I just looked at your name we're gonna be a pull a card ah, from Gabby's deck I'm dropping stuff all over the place here we're going to pull a card from Gabby's deck, too. Okay, so we have the Two of Spring, which is so beautiful. And then we'll see what um, Gabby's deck has to say. They usually go, they always go together, right? You can't make this stuff up. So, I, okay, so 
I talked today about how you have to, you know, you have to do the work. So when the eclipse happens, you can't just expect the eclipse to change your life. When you manifest, we talked about this last night with Luis, when you manifest, you have to do the work. You can't just do the visualization. You have to actually do the work, right? Um, sometimes though, manifesting does work with when you just do the visualization and ask. It's not as, it's not gonna be as, um, if you, if there's something that you really wanna work for, you know, that's gonna be more fulfilling. But I just have to tell you guys yesterday, I went to a meet, a Chamber of Commerce meeting and they did a raffle and I asked the angels, and I don't do this very often. I really don't do this. I asked the angels, I said, you know, if you, um, if you're supporting me, you know, I want to win this raffle. Help me to win this raffle. And it wasn't even anything that I really cared about. I guess who won the raffle. <laughs> I did. So the angels are telling me that they support, they support me. <laughs> anyway, so that's an example of what you just kind of ask and it happens. <laughs> okay. So this is Gabby's deck. Oh my gosh, it's perfect for what we're talking about today. I love this card, it's beautiful. You can see the card and it says, I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. And that's exactly what I was talking about with relationships, about how you don't necessarily always have to leave a relationship behind, that the relationship will change when you change. And so seeing someone for the first time through the eyes of love is what my viewers need today and what I need as well. So. Um, use this eclipse and this energy of this moon to see somebody for the first time to see to ask to see somebody in a different way and maybe for the first time in a brand new way okay so this really goes along with um the two of spring as well because it's about partnering together so maybe this is somebody who's already in your life who you need to look at in a new way maybe it's a, a husband or a wife who um you've been criticizing you know and maybe it's time to start looking at them differently and work with them instead of against them okay okay i love you guys so much this is a beautiful reading i hope everybody has a great weekend i didn't hear from you from you guys too much i saw the emojis which is good but if you guys have any questions or anything you know let me know you can you can there's still time to ask or if you want to um always send me a message you can always send me a private message those who are on my email list for the meditation calendar, you're gonna be getting an email for the next six weeks every Thursday from me. And I, I wanna support you in any way that I can through this manifesting journey. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm thinking of starting maybe a Facebook group um, for those who have the calendar, just um, so we can post what we're manifesting in the group. It would, it would be kind of fun. I know that would be fun. So thinking about doing that, let me know if you guys have any suggestions or anything like that. I would love to hear from you. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend, a wonderful eclipse, a wonderful full moon tonight. Just enjoy the energy. Don't get freaked out by it. Just enjoy it. Feel its magic. Come here, Prudence. Prudence has been laying in the sun, so I want her to say goodbye. <laughs> Come here, Prudence. Do you want to say goodbye? Come on, baby. She's just taking her time. Come on. I had this, I had a, I had such a weird dream last night about this dog. <laughs> but anyway, okay, I love you guys. We'll see you next week. Peace and love. Signing off. See you next Friday. Bye.